Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. Today what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to my chosen ones about how sunny days wouldn't be special if it wasn't for rain. Joy wouldn't feel so good if it wasn't for pain. Yes, sir. I know they are rap lyrics to a certain degree, but they are also real life. Real life. Sunny days wouldn't be special if it wasn't for rain, right? And we had some rain out in my area yesterday. And it, it was just like a huge reminder of being able to go with the natural flow of life. Not just with any flow. Because we already know that the weather is the universe. The weird witchy motherfuckers try to manipulate it and control it with their heart machines and equipment and shit. But we all know that, you know, for the most part, nature and this weather shit is like, it's unpredictable. The, uh, even the people, the witchy motherfuckers that's using all that heart machines and equipments and stuff, right? They still are only allowed to manipulate the weather. They cannot make it snow. They cannot make it rain. They are only allowed to manipulate the energy while it's out in the universe. So if it started to sprinkle or it, the clouds look like it has some precipitation, they could manipulate that and make it rain harder. But I say sunny days wouldn't be special if it weren't for rain, right? Because it's like in real life too, when you are dealing with the spiritual beings and not nature and the weather itself. So, when you have things going on in your life, you're not always gonna be able to be up here. It's not always gonna be a sunny day, you know? You're gonna have those days where it's rainy, those days where you have to figure out how to pick your energy up, those days where it just randomly, sporadically gets cloudy out of nowhere and you've been having a great day. You know what I'm saying? These are days and things that has to be calculated into your day. And if you don't calculate them into your day, you're going to make it extremely difficult for you just processing throughout the rest of your day after something happens. So when you are in the midst of a rainy day, and I'll use an example of me and my daughter, right? We was coming back from somewhere, this was like a couple weeks ago, and it started pouring down rain, and I was coming through the mountains, and when you ride through the mountains, and it's raining, you the clouds come straight down. People call them fog, I just call them clouds. The clouds come straight down, so for one, that fucks with your perception, so now you can barely see 15 to 50 feet in front of you. Then you got the rain pouring down so hard, even if your wiper blaze is on as fast as it can go, it's still not fast enough <laughs> so it, it was coming down crazy hard right and we we was coming up on a little bridgeway it was like a bridge above us like another road going above us but it was a dry spot in between there so i seen a couple cars stopped right and i'm like oh, okay well maybe we could weather the storm a little bit you know let's not push through it because one, two, three, four, five can happen, and I got my daughter in the car. Then it's like, after we stopped under the little, uh, under like the little bridgeway, it was like a car in front of me that was stopped, but he pulled all the way up so other cars, if they wanted to stop in the dry area, they could. So I pulled right up on them. So the car's stopping on the other side of the interstate um, under the bridge. But as soon as I stopped, my daughter like, Daddy. The other cars are still driving. She's seen the other cars still going through. She's like, Daddy, the other car is still going through. You can do it. And I'm just like, oh my God. These are the things that I be discussing and talking about. It's like, she just spiritually just motivated me and pushed me to weather and to, to get through this storm. And when she had gave me energy, I didn't even second guess it or question her. Like, oh yeah, no, we're not gonna do that. Daddy pulled over here for a reason, blah, 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 blah. Nah, she is a spiritual being having a human experience and she is extremely enlightening and insightful. So for me, it was like, you know what? We're gonna do this. I'm gonna turn my hazards on. 
I'm going to turn my low beams on, even though it's light out, you still want to have your low beams. And I'm going to turn my blinker lights on, my hazard lights. And we weathered the storm. We pushed right back out. It was still crazy as fuck out there. And we still made it through the storm. But the thing is, is like we wouldn't have made it home in the time we made it in. Everything wouldn't have flowed the way it flowed if she didn't tell me to daddy you can do it and i'm just like oh shit you believe in me it's just mind-blowing because i've been when you raised and you lived the whole 36 years and nobody fucking believed in you then somebody's been here six years just all of a sudden they put their full belief in you it's like oh shit i'm used to stepping up to the plate so for me it was like yeah we're gonna get through this weather we're going to get through and we're going to make it home in an appropriate time, a safely manner. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, that was just another huge reminder of weathering the storm. You know what I'm saying? It was beautifully sunny. We was riding. We was making good timing. Then all of a sudden, it started pouring. And my first instincts was, uh, this shit is getting crazy. We in the mountains. Any safe spots to kind of just bump over off to the side just to kind of wait till it settles a little bit. But you cannot always wait for the storm to settle. That is a huge key part of the example and the story. You cannot always wait for the storm to settle. Sometimes you still have to push through, even if you don't feel like it, even if you don't want to. And I look at my life and I take these examples and these things that I experience and I apply them, I assess them, you know, I, I use them as like part of my sensory to my uh, GPS system in the inside. So your feelings are like the GPS system within in your sensory. So how you can manage it, it kind of helps you with your intuition, you know. I, I like to work in, in, I don't like to use the word perfect, but I, I want to master that spiritual space that's in me and around me. That's within me and around me. I cannot master everything out here, but what I have access to is what I would like to focus my energy on and master, you know what I mean? Um, so, if we didn't get that weather through there when me and her was riding, and when it lit back up later that day, me and her end up coming back outside in the yard, just kind of vibing a little bit. But the sun, the universe always feels so much better after the rain has hit. You usually feel better after you made it through a uh, uh, annoying or a tedious obstacle that you knew you had to manage your energy through you know what i'm saying i don't know if you guys seen twister it's an old movie but they used to run down chase down tornadoes and all of this other shit, right but when you in the eye of the storm the eye of the storm almost feels like a sunny day it almost feels like a sunny day. The only and the hugest difference in between a sunny day and being in the eye of the storm is the energy. You can feel the energy. I've never been in one, but if you're in one, it's creating a feel. It's creating its own energy field. So if you're in it, it's like being in a house. You're in a, another energy field. So inside of it, it seems really calm and unsettling. But you know it's some shit going on on the outside because you haven't made it outside of there yet. You're just on the inside of the storm, you know what I'm saying? So as far as the process goes, it's like, you're never gonna be up here without being down here. You know what I'm saying? So even if I run into nine witchy motherfuckers i know the universe is always going to send me something from the natural flow of things that reminds me hey this shit over here weighs way more than this shit over here so i wouldn't even put too much pressure 
on this shit over here, you know? Because it's always going to be this kind of pressure right here. And just like I was just saying, sunny days wouldn't be special if it weren't for rain. We're always going to have that change. This shit wouldn't grow if it wasn't for rain. So you have to learn how to endure something. If you don't know how to endure anything, then you are not going to make it out here. It's going to be extremely difficult and tough for you to manage your energy. You know what I'm saying? If anything, motherfuckers is going to be abusing and using your energy. They're going to take full advantage of it, you know? It's like you being a free gas station. Motherfuckers could just pull up to and pump whenever they want to. If it was a free gas station out here, trust me, in the 3D world, everybody would be trying to get there and go there. So that's what you have to remember that you are simulating. You're like a gas station spiritually. Your light is to infinity and beyond. That's why you always exaggerate and exude so much energy from your body. From your body. I, I do little small things. I went out to fucking stop at a restaurant with a buddy like a couple weeks ago. You know? And it's like in this town where I'm at now is predominantly Caucasian. You know, they do have brown people here, but it's predominantly Caucasian. But I'm in a restaurant just having some food with a buddy and then all of a sudden you know the next table asks me hey can you take a picture for me there's plenty of people in here that they could have asked they could have asked the person that i was with but the way the universe is set up is always set up for them to ask me i'm 36 years old i've been doing this my whole life now i understand i am a light being it this does not randomly happen these people ask me and they do these things for a reason because they can feel my energy it's not that I don't never look at it like, oh, they're asking me because I'm the only brown guy in here. No, I don't give a fuck about that shit. So when people do shit like that, I can feel it. And I sense it and I and I respond accordingly to it. You know what I'm saying? But we have to be able to weather these storms. You know what I'm saying? Sunny days wouldn't be special if it wasn't for rain. Joy wouldn't feel so good if it wasn't for pain. You know what I'm saying? Tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the kings and queens.